Better is a new free exhibition here at the Science Gallery and what we're trying to do is to really kind of start a conversation about failure. Is failure the opposite of success or is it actually something else that's a natural part of a process of creativity that we should accept and embrace? We want people not just to come along and see all of the objects and hear about the stories of failure, but we want people to come and share their own stories of failure. I've failed a lot, but I've only succeeded from my failures. There's no major failures. Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is like the driving test. It took me like four times to get it. I've broken my collarbone twice in the last two years, so. I feel like I embarrass myself a lot, and I ended up, I feel uh, like, just embracing that feeling of embarrassment. We want people to be proud of their failures, because if you failed, it means you tried. It means you sort of, you put yourself out there, you made an effort to do something. People talk about the need to fail fast, fail early, fail often. That's a, a really important message for Fail Better. We've got um, loads of wonderful contributors in this show. We've got Sonia O'Sullivan, we've got Rano Fines, we've got James Dyson, we've got Mark Pollock, and they've all shared with us their stories of failure, their experiences, and their, their take on failure, essentially. What Christopher Reeve's chair represents is the failure to find a cure for paralysis. But on the flip side, everything he did was about hope, was about exploring boundaries, was about pushing the limits and challenging conventional wisdom. As an inventor and as an entrepreneur, what it really means is like, I guess, setting your ambitions quite high. And failure is always going to be something that is living with you when you set a high goal. The important thing is process, work, rework, redrafting, re-editing. We cover a lot of different perspectives on failure in this exhibition. Everything from purposeful failure with uh, soluble circuits, which dissolve so they can be recycled, to fuses, which fail so that a greater system doesn't have to, and even to other things like the Mars Climate Orbiter, a disaster which failed because people mixed up units. Some of the things here in the exhibition, they might seem like failure at the time, and then, you know, decades, maybe even centuries later, we realize what a success they are. Your opinion on what constitutes failure isn't necessarily correct. So you might think that you failed, but that's not necessarily true. And we're just reading about Flan O'Brien. I didn't expect this kind of thing to be in the exhibition at all. So um, it's a really good roundup of failures. There's some that are quite inspirational and some you can kind of have a laugh at. This uh, baby making machine is quite good, all right. <laughs> It's a birthing machine, but it's designed to assist a woman in giving birth using centrifugal force. This is supposed to help to give life, but it looks like a torture device. I'm amazed that someone actually went to the process of making it and writing all the description stuff, never realizing what a terrible idea it was. We're inviting people to chat with us in the gallery via our, our Fail Better wall, but also on Twitter, on Facebook. And when you do tag your tweet, it'll actually be printed out on a little ticker tape. There's so much richness to it, so much amazing stories, um, that I hope people will go away just like with a new idea of failure. I think it's really inspiring to see that so many people have failed and then gone on to use that to do amazing things.